We've always got an eye out for new artists, artists with an original angle, a fresh look, a new way of seeing things. Some friends said, you've got to give Donna Hensley a call. They don't come any different than Donna. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I seldom look at the hills and the trees. I'm always like looking for something that glimmers in the light or, or uh, feet sticking up in the air or something like that. <laughs> so. We found Donna Hensley and she was picking up a few art supplies. Our friends were right. They don't come any different than Donna. This is where I get my stuff, my art supplies. That's where I get the name Road Kills. Meet Donna Hensley, the undeniably different talent behind the company she calls Roadkill Art. Sick. That's right, Roadkill Art. I don't know. It was. It always amazed me, even since I was a kid, how people would, you know, you'd run over an animal or see a, a dead animal, and uh, but you always try to avoid to hit him, you know, even though he's dead. And uh, it always, you know, bothered me that uh, they would just lay there and just get, you know, mashed, pulverized to nothing. And I thought, what a waste. What, you know, surely there's something that you can do with that. And uh, so that's part of what brought me to Road Kills. It's never hard to find Donna out in the hill country. Her red truck speeds to buzzard banquets like a fire engine to flames. They're like, God, what is she doing? I mean, many times I've chased them off and then driven off with their dinner and thought, I wonder what they think about me. I wonder what they think I'm doing. Donna's artwork would tend to make anybody wonder about her, which is exactly why it's caught on in galleries from Austin to Los Angeles. Let's just say it's a little left of center. You'll never confuse her furniture with Ethan Allen. It's more uh, my age group because I do art that I appreciate and uh, and it's, it's young art, it's strange and, and different. A visitor to a cool and swanky gallery would look at this and say, yeah, this is strange and different. Donna's a genius. Luckily, they didn't see her picking up roadkills that were sauteing by the side of a hot and dusty Texas highway. Strange and different? No, they'd say. She's completely nuts. Oh, yeah, when you put it like that. Huh? <laughs> no, it, it yeah. I just want to quit. <laughs> it must be a better way to make a living. And we haven't even gotten to the part about the bats. This is where I put the red tail. Deep in the hills is a secret cave, a cave filled with thousands of Mexican free tail bats. A cave whose floor is a moving carpet of beetles. This is the processing plant for Donna's art supplies. Being a folk artist uh, and always looking for new, original, found or recycled material, I thought of taking a uh, roadkill, uh, animals found on the side of the highway that had been run over and uh, taking them down there and having these little beetles be my hired help. I'm sure by now they, they recognize my form with my plastic bag and they go, oh boy, she's here, she's here, dinner. <laughs> Mm, this is nice. I'm going to take this. This is a rattlesnake Oop. that I brought in here last week. I'm just going to put him up there for right now. See, they, they clean him pretty well. In a week, Donna's roadkills are recycled into art supplies. Granted, unless you're a beetle, this is no picnic. Bugs and bats and lots of bat poop everywhere, so it's not a place you'd want to relax and spend a few hours. 
Still, there is a specialness to making art from ecology. No plastics, no pollution. In the eeriness of the cave, Donna's art is just a step in the peaceful and natural order of things. It's the kind of thing when you're a kid, you know, you'd see them at night and run for your life. But uh, I just love them now. I think they're, they're great. The townspeople still aren't too sure of Donna Hensley. If every village has a haunted house, they figure Donna Hensley has it. Oh yeah, I mean, they think I'm eccentric. They, they, they don't get too many drop-ins. <laughs> Essentially, the, the main reason, one of the main reasons I, I did it, I'm a big animal lover, and um, the idea of, of these animals just getting squashed repeatedly on the highway always made me a little uncomfortable. So this is a way of sort of resurrecting them and giving them new life. Uh, some of them ornamental little tiny bones I make jewelry out of, which these are little turtle bones, and I uh, ink do engravings on them and paint them, dye them, string them together. Did any of this make you squeamish to begin with? Oh yeah, I mean it, it wasn't in my nature to run out on the highway and pick up the first dead thing I found, but, uh, but I saw it as definitely a good um, uh, gimmick, you know, in, in the art, and it truly was w one of the most original um, materials, found materials, that I had I'd ever heard of. And, uh, and I was like, gee, I thought of it. So, <laughs> so I started using it. Our friends told us, you want to meet an artist who's new and different? Call Donna. Nobody's more different than Donna. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> makes for good conversation at parties. <laughs> Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.